Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're doing well today. I have a follow-up based on my last tutorial, which was making a animated card house. And I had quite a few questions about how to texture this so that you could set it up so that all these textures are random and you don't have to do it all manually. So if you're just starting out in Cinema 4D, you don't actually have to make 52 different textures, which is awesome. You can do it in one texture. Uh, so what we're going to do is go to the color channel and to the texture twirl down and we have this uh, MoGraph section here and we have four different MoGraph shaders and this means that they're going to work in conjunction with all these MoGraph effectors, which is great. So we're going to go to uh, MoGraph multi shader and this means we can add a folder. So click on add from folder and I have a folder full of all of the 52 different cards and we'll go ahead and hit open and it's gonna load um, every single image in there to its own texture in here. Uh, we still only have one texture here, so we have to figure out how to make it random on this cloner object, but we're getting somewhere. So right now we have the mode set to its default color brightness, and this mode is going to basically show which of these cards in this uh, the shader are gonna show up. So one thing you could do is just change this to index ratio, and if we do that, it's going to um, basically go down the list of showing this one first, then this one, then that one. So you can see that it is giving us a whole bunch of different cards. They're not repeating, but it still doesn't really look all that random because it's just going down the list here. And depending on how they're organized in here, it might you might have two tens next to each other. So we're going to go ahead and go back to our color brightness. And instead, we're going to use a shader. So we're going to go to MoGraph Effector and then Random Effector, which makes sense since we want all these cards to be be random. So let's go to our cloner and the effectors tab and let's make sure our random effector is in there. And you'll notice that they all jumped a little bit. So that means the random effector is changing their position. But we don't want to change the position scale or rotation. What we want to do is look under that to the color. So in this color mode, all we have to do is switch this to on. And now we have um, all of those cards being randomly distributed onto the clones. So instead of using that index ratio, which goes top to bottom through that list, the random effector will randomly sample them out of there and then we'll get this look. So you'll notice that we do have a three and a three backing up to each other. That's just the way that I set up my cards to animate on. There's two different planes in the same uh, cloner. So it's mapping that texture to both of those. So if we wanted to change that, we could just duplicate the cloner and let's go into each of these cards and let's delete plane one from the first cloner. And then in the second cloner, we'll go ahead and delete plane two. And that way we'll still have the same animation set up, but we'll be able to uh, put different textures on these. So now if we have our two cloners, we can duplicate that random, go to that second cloner, delete the original random, and then put that other random in there. And they're still mapping the same way, but now we can just go to that uh, random seed in our random effector, change that guy. And now we have truly random uh, textures on all of these clones, and we still have that really nice animation set up. I hope that answers some of your questions. As always, thank you for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time.